Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's been a minute. Today's Saturday, it's beautiful here in North Carolina. Uh, temperatures are low, it's overcast, it rained most of the night and into the morning, so we're, unfortunately we're not gonna be able to get down in the fields today and do anything, but I've been putting off uh, running auxiliary hydraulics for the Oliver. Uh, I've gotta run some hard lines back to the back and make my ports for the uh, drill, of course, and for anything else I need to move with it. So we're gonna try to work on that a little bit today. It's gonna be kind of start and stop type deal, but he's here. Uh, but I'll bring you along for a little bit of that. Um, and I wanted to throw in there also, uh, thank you all for the well wishes on the beach trip. Everything went good. Did rain on us a little bit, but you know, I enjoyed myself. Got to spend some time with the wife and the uh, family and recuperate a little bit. So uh, we're back to the farm now. And hopefully everything will get back to normal now. And I'm rested up. Uh, gonna show you a couple pictures of some hats here. Those are just some hats that I had made for myself. Uh, one I'm gonna have made for my dad and my father-in-law. Uh, it's just got the, you know, IP Farms logo, the same thing that's on the sticker. Um, I like hats, my dad likes hats. I ruined them left and right. I ruined several this summer already. So I thought, you know, if I'm gonna get some hats, I might as well go and get my logo put on them. So I did. Um, ran across somebody that does a really good job embroidering. I really liked it. The cost is, is very good for me. Um, but me and the wife talked about it and I thought, well, I'll throw it on this video just in case there might be any interest in getting a hat now or later or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can get a hold of me on, uh, Instagram, on Facebook, or, uh, my emails in the about section, Instagram and Facebook are IP farms incorporated. And I think Facebook's IP farms. Um, but the deal is, uh, the hats are on back order. Uh, right now, so I don't have a whole lot made up. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing like merchandise sale or anything like that. I can ruin a hat easily in two weeks, so I ordered several for myself. Um, so it'll be kind of a case by case basis. If there's any interest in it, just get in touch with me, let me know, we'll discuss it, talk about it. Uh, the two colors I'm gonna stick with are probably gonna be the neon yellow and gray like this, and then the black with the charcoal uh, back, uh, and the embroidery on that you saw in the picture looks like my logo, so I kinda like that. So. That'll be it. Um, and if there's no interest at all, I totally understand. Like I said, this isn't a merchandise sale. Just thought some of you like the sticker. Some of you might like a hat. I know a lot of you farmer guys wear hats all the time. So thought I'd throw that in there, but let's get the stuff moved around here. I've got to get the cub out and the lawnmower out, switch those over and get the Oliver in here and see if we can get started. Okay. Here's what we're going to try to do. Uh, I'm going to take these, uh, quick connects off. I'm going to put a T fitting up here and a T fitting there. We're gonna elbow out and run hard lines back to the back. I'll show you that in a second. Um, this is where the bucket cylinders and three point hook up. I've said it way back in the early part of the channel. Uh, when I wanna use the loader, I've gotta unhook those two hoses there, which are the three point hoses and hook the loader hoses up. And then when I wanna use the three point, I take the, it's just the bucket tilt, not the boom. Take those out and put the three point. I thought about getting some uh, valves and put in here, but you know, just cost effective. It's not a big deal. Like I said, if I'm gonna be using the implement behind, I'm not gonna be using the bucket on the loader. I can still raise it up and down. So for right now, we'll just do the quick connect. So um, let me show you back here on the back. Um, we're gonna try to run right through here, hopefully come out, make some kind of bracket right here. Um, I'm gonna turn them 90 them here and go over and then 90 again and hopefully the quick connects will be right here so um should be out of the way of everything there out of the way of the three point and like i said the you know the drill or the plow or whatever this i need to hook up i can do that so uh here's the supplies we got this morning uh all it is is uh you know just iron pipe uh half inch we got some uh, fittings here nipples uh got some of these little uh U-bolts, I'm gonna try to make some brackets to hold the line situated. So let's get started and see what we can come up with. Okay, we're a little ways into it. I'll show you the progress so far. We got the T's in, uh, the 90's. I used a street 90 on one side. I had to put a short nipple here to extend it out to get the lines by where they need to be. Um, show you what we did back here. I've still got to figure out some kind of bracketry um, for here to hold them steady. Um, like I said, we came down uh, 90 to over. Distance was a little bit different, which is no problem. Uh, put the short nipple in there. And that's the final product. Um, they're sitting on top of one another, but when I get this one up 
high enough, uh, you'll still be able to get the get your hand around it to where we can uh, loosen the coupler there. So turned out pretty good. Like I said, I'm not an expert on it by no means, and uh, just needed to do this. So basically, what I've got left to do now is um, I've got to get two more short nipples for here and um, put the quick couplers back up here for my. Like I said, those are the three points I told you in an earlier clip. And then up here on the boom, we just tie them up. Um, they're dangling down here somewhere. There they are down there for the tilt on the bucket. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, back here, this is a nightmare of hydraulic lines. Um, they've got all this rigged up when I got the tractor, I guess, so that um, everything you could uncouple it and take the loader off if this loader ever comes off it's not going back on i can assure you so i've got two sets of couplers here and there's two more sets there and then they've got hoses run up to the uh, hydraulic assembly there so i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave this alone for now and just get two more pioneer couplers for over there or if i'm going to try to take these apart and do away with some of these lines and just figure out the right uh, fittings I need to tie these lines together. If so, then I can use these two couplers here for the uh, quick connects over there. So that's what we've got finished so far. I'll bring you back here in a minute. Okay, I got that loose. Get this line out of here and I'll show you the orifice fitting I'm talking about. I'm not making as big a mess as I usually do. Uh, tell you, between this and the combine, I'm gonna need to take some, uh, some kind of gymnastics lessons or something. Now this said, let me test something here. Okay, it said uh, pipe threads, and that's what I needed. It looked like it had a JIC fitting on the end. Um, so basically what we're doing, we're dropping the fittings in the bucket. That's what we're doing. If you can see this, it's got a little, little bitty hole in it compared, so what I've been told and what I'm going to try is that this should help with the down pressure of the uh, boom so that you can kind of let it down a little smoother. As soon as you hit the lever, it just instantaneously drops and it's really tough when you've got something on it. Um, you know, trying to lower it easy, we run into that several times. Okay, well, Blind Squirrel gets a nut every now and again. I uh, showed you putting the orifice in here, uh, the restrictor, it had a swivel on it which worked out. Uh, this right here has been changed from the original Oliver swivel, um, which worked out because I was able to screw the hydraulic line into this, and then this stays swivels back and forth, and I was able to tighten that nut up separate so I didn't have to buy a fitting there. Show you what we did on the back here. And I was able to clean this up a little bit. Uh, did away with the uh, jankered up hydraulic lines and the two other couplings. I just tied right back into the T here with this line. Uh, this one, the way it was situated, I was able to use a street 90 off of one of the other lines and got that going up. So both of those go back up to the hydraulic reservoir. And I was able to score me two couplers. So now all I've got to do, I may have a fitting around here. I'm going to look. Uh, if not, I've just got to get two little short half inch uh, nipples there to go back up front before we plumbed in and call this one good. So I'm going to work on getting some brackets made for this. I'm not going to bring you along for that. I'll show you what the end result looks like if I get it finished today. If not, I'll show you where I got and we'll wrap this one up. won't bore you guys too much.
Okay, well there's the final product. A little close up. I put a U-bolt here, and there's another one over here, and I welded a plate there, I'll show you. Welded a plate down there, put two U-bolts in it, and welded that one on the side there, so everything's good and stiff. And pop them now without any problems, so okay, I believe we'll call it a day. Okay, everybody, we're gonna wrap this one up and call it a video. Um, I apologize, I'm a little out of practice on the uh, filming, so if it's a little longer than normal, I apologize. I uh, might speed a little bit of it up. Um, we got everything wrapped up on the, all over here with the auxiliary hydraulics. I uh, got me two ports in the back, like I showed you. Uh, I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, um, but you know, Rob Peter to pay Paul. I didn't really have to go back and get any other fittings other than what I bought this morning. Made things work, so uh, main thing is I've got the ports here and I can hook up to whatever I need to hydraulic now. I'm gonna switch this over to high tran like the 1086, um, so I don't have to worry about blended fluids or anything. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. We got some lines wrapped up over on the other side. We put the orifice in, hopefully that'll work. Uh, I gotta get those two little short nipples for the uh, quick connects up here for the bucket and uh, get that I'll have it wrapped up and we'll give her a test run I'll I'll get a little clip of it on the test run see how the bucket does may may blow out I don't know we'll just have to wait and see but um, anyway thank you everybody for watching uh, please consider subscribing if you had not already you know hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see thumbs down I understand it's not for everybody share the videos get them out there might be somebody else interested in a little bit of this I'm doing shop work today Turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, Might have should have went down in the fields, but it's still a little tacky down there. So one more project knocked out, ready for the grain drill this fall. So um, I'm happy with that. And uh, it's supposed to be warm this week. So I got to do some more bush hog. And I think I'm going to have to knock down what the uh, local agency seeded up. So uh, it's getting pretty high down there. But anyway, until next time, thank you.